What a specific love. My son has inspired me to do a video with. Hot Wheels. Let's begin. All right. Ow. <laughs> Imagine you have a whole bunch of Hot Wheels around your room and you want to show them off but you have nowhere to put them. Well here's a great way to make a Hot Wheels display using one and a half inch PVC. We have it just glued together here. Then we have a cardboard background that's glued on here because if you don't have that the Hot Wheels will just fall right through. So uh, this can also make a great display for the floor, the desk, or even the wall. Another great way for Hot Wheels storage is if you have a small parts organizer, these small drawers can hold two to three Hot Wheels cars, and these big drawers can hold a heck of a lot more. Also, this is quick and easy grab and go, and it keeps your mom from getting mad at you for having your Hot Wheels all over your floor. If you like to make Hot Wheels racetracks, we have an easy way to take four inch PVC and turn it into a tunnel so you can put it underground, under leaves, under pillows, and just have a lot of fun sliding them on through. Here's a great addition for any Hot Wheels enthusiast out there. We have this random piece of board that was laying around our house. We took these L brackets, screwed them in, then we bent the L brackets to put a nice angle to the Hot Wheels. Then we hot glued the Hot Wheels to the L brackets so they would stick very well. And the great thing about hot glue is that if you heat it up again, you can easily and carefully peel the Hot Wheel off in case your kid wants the Hot Wheel uh, later on in the future. Then you can take another Hot Wheel and then hot glue it to the L bracket to replace the other Hot Wheel. If your child is anything like me, I sometimes like to take Hot Wheels wherever I go. And if you have an old VHS case lying around, you can just plop some Hot Wheels in, like so. And then you can close them, and now you don't have to worry about your mom getting mad at you for losing your Hot Wheels in the car. Here's a great way to turn your Hot Wheels car into a hanging display. What my dad did here was he took two rivets out of the bottom of the car, took apart the car, drilled a hole in the top of the car, put a eye bolt in there, and this eye bolt is being held in by two nuts, one on the top of the car and one on the inside of the car. My, then my dad put together this Hot Wheel car by just hot gluing it back in. This Hot Wheel car makes a great hanging display and it's still able to work in case your kid still wants to play with it. If you like your Hot Wheels, here's a great and easy way to take your Hot Wheel and your car key and make a Hot Wheel car key. First, you want to drill out the rivets at the bottom. Then you want to trim the key down to size so it can fit in the Hot Wheel. After that, you want to cut the body with the Dremel tool so the key can fit in the car. Then you glue everything back together using epoxy for strength. Make sure to use non-chip keys for this design, and there is a great way to make a Hot Wheel car key. If your key has a chip in it, or if you don't want to permanently attach it to your car, you can always take a key ring and attach it to any car with an open hole. Otherwise, find a car with a small front or back, drill a hole, and then attach your key ring to it to keep your hobby with you at all times.